let your living waters flow over my soul let Holy Spirit come and take control say every situation that I struggle Say, let your living waters flow. Oh, let your Holy Spirit come and take control. Every situation that I strong. Bible with me to Psalm 69. I'm reading verse 1. Save me, O God, for the waters are come in unto my soul. I sink in deep mire where there is no standing. I am come into deep waters where the floods overflow me. He says, I am weary of my crying. My throat is dried. My eyes fail while I wait for my God. Verse 4 says, They that hate me without a cause are more than the heirs of my head. The Bible there is saying, A man's enemy is more than the hair on his head. Amen. Can you count the hair on your head? Can you count the air on your head? No, but the Bible says the, the enemies of my soul are more than the air on my head. Amen. It shows you the quantity of battles you fight. The victory you gain in the place where you fight quantity battle determines the quality of your life. When you apply yourself to getting victory in quantity battle, you live quality life. Yes, sir. Are you understanding me? Yes, sir. He says they that hate me without cause. You don't need to offend people for them to turn against you. Mm. You don't need to offend people before they hate you. They that hate me without cause, the Bible says they are more than the heirs on my head. That they would destroy me, being my enemies wrongfully and mighty. Then I restored what? That which I took not away. I restored that which I took not away. Meaning the enemy was from wants from you what you did not steal from him. Some enemies want from you what you did not take from them. I restored unto them. Listen, if you don't defeat the enemy, the enemy will continually take from you what you did not take from him. The enemy has come to kill, to steal. To steal means to take what is not rightfully yours. They that hate me without cause are more than the air on my head. Even though you don't, you don't need to have hair. You see me, I don't have hair. But the people that hate me are more than this cap. Even without the air. <laughs> they that hate me. You see, it didn't say they that hate me because I offended them. It says they that hate me without cause. That is what gripped my spirit. Just
was because a woman's child bought ticket and relocated from Africa or the Caribbean island to England. Some uncle or some neighbor decide to turn the child to a project of destruction so that the mother can be in mystery and no giant is born in the lineage and you keep quiet thinking that all is well. Whosoever hates me with that cause and is trying to take from me what I didn't take from them. Father, locate them and take their life. I don't think you heard me. Which, see, witchcraftry is not until someone suck blood. Witchcraftry is when someone is perpetrating evil to bring you down in life. Witchcraftry is when someone is perpetrating evil to see you fail, even when you are when your plan is for them to prosper. Am I communicating here? When a man and if a man is to change his life, you must understand that you will fight enemies that want to see you come down without any offense or cause. Are you understanding me? I, then I restored that which I took not away. How can you be paying for something you did not take away? How can you be giving a car to an enemy when you never took a car from the enemy? Are you, are you, are you getting angry in your spirit? How can you be giving, you, you are paying money to an enemy when you never took the money from the enemy? That's brutality against your entity, trying to turn your life to a nonsensity. They see you hold your wife, they don't know how many battles you have to fight. Don't stand, stand there, stand there. Don't run, stand there. It's me and you'll be firing your services. You are my point of contact for firing. Lift your right and shut my father, my father. As I begin to pray, whosoever hates me without any just cause, whosoever hates me without any just reason, oh Lord, look at them today. Look at them today. Scatter them, scatter them, scatter them. Open your mother fire prayer. Mother da 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 Begin to pray, begin to pray. Begin to pray, begin to pray. Whosoever hates me without a cause, without reason, they hate me. Lord, they that hurt me with that cause are more than the, the air on my head. Shabalaba lagadash. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Hey, Mazika Kokokotosh. Leberegadabe legadash. Pray, 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 pray. Pray, 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 pray. They that hate me with that cause are more than the air on my head. Hey, Father, locate tonight. Scatter, scatter, scatter them, scatter them. I will not pay to an enemy or give to an enemy I have not taken anything from. How can I repay what I've not stolen? How can I be com compensating someone that is trying to damage my life? Father, locate and scatter them. Father, locate and scatter that satanic ambition. Trying to scatter my destiny. Trying to waste my life. Hey, Father, waste an intention of the enemy to waste my joy, to waste my peace. Father, what are you waiting for, oh Lord? Arise, arise, oh God. Let God arise and scatter those who are ganging up against my soul with that cause. Lord, as I pray, please pray for yourself. Whether the prayer warriors, pray for yourself. Jesus, oh no, oh, for the name of the Lord, no other name, no other name, for the name of Jesus, is worthy of
to prophesy over someone's life. Whosoever have gone into battle against your prosperity, the prosperity of your body, the prosperity of your soul, the prosperity of your life, the prosperity of your destiny, I prophesy, may God arise and fight for you. May God arise and fight for you. Let God arise and fight for you. Let God arise and do battle for you. Lift your voice, shout, Amen. Look at the same Psalm 69. He says, Save me, O God, for the waters are come in unto my soul. I sink. Listen. If you look at Psalm 69, verse 2. You know, when we read scripture, we, we, we don't we don't we don't analyze it. The way I read the Bible, when I read the Bible, what I do is I make sure I pick definitions of certain words. It it brings that chapter and that verse, it brings it to life. It says, I, I, I am sinking in deep mire. M-I-R-E. What is M-I-R-E? Google search it. Pick up Google quickly. So that when you pray this next prayer, whoever needs to go down for you to start coming out, they must go down. Amen. I sink in deep men. Do you see that word? Where there is no standing. Deep men, men, M-I-R-E, is a slippery floor. Let that boy go and sit down there at the back. Quickly. It's, it's, a, it's a slippery floor. Listen to me. It's a slippery floor. Nobody can stand. Can you stand gallantly on a slippery floor? You, you, you will always be. Now, imagine you are, you are trying to gain balance on a slippery floor and it's deep. How can you survive that? Where there is no standing, it says, I sink in deep man. Listen, problems, they... The, the structure of every challenge and problem is that you don't come out of it. The moment you think you want to you want to gain balance to stand so you can find a way to pull yourself out, something takes your foot again. That's why some people say they take one step forward and bang, they're taking two steps backwards. The floor, you're trying to find the strategy to come out of financial debt and bang again, another financial problem. You're going deeper. And you're going deeper. You're trying to stand, you're going deeper. I sink in I, I sink in deep man where there is no standing. That is what the Bible says in Psalm 69, verse 2. And the psalmist say, Save me, O God, save me, O God, for the waters are come in unto my soul. You are going to pray every flaw designed to sweep my soul. I want you to open your mouth and say, every flaw. Designed to sweep my my soul. Designed to sweep my soul into obscurity, into destruction. Every flood, every water, designed to sweep my soul into shame, into insecurity, into obscurity, into destruction. What are you waiting for? Oh Lord, save me, save me, and raise a standard against that flood. Lift your voice up, open your mouth, and fire prayer. Malabala balagadasha. Hey, every flood designed. Design, design to sweep my soul. Is it the flood of financial battles? The flood of spiritual warfare? Lord, Lord, I refuse to sink in the deep man where there is no standing. Lord, arise to my aid. Arise to my defense. Arise, oh God. Arise, oh God. Arise, oh God. Lord, as I pray, 
Lord, as I pray, Lord, as I pray, save me, oh God, from every sinking sand, from every sinking foundation. Is it a sinking foundation of finances, spiritual, marital, material, career, Lord, mental, psychological, health matters, Lord, every warfare, every problem with my welfare, my well being, Lord, I refuse to sink. You have 30 more seconds to pray. Save me, oh God, for the waters have come in unto my soul. I refuse to be taken and swept away by the flood of destruction, by the flood of pain, by the flood of shame. Lord, I am crying to you. Lord, I am in need of you. Lord, I cry for help. In the name of Jesus. And I prophesy, your soul will not be swept by any flood of shame any water flowing from the camp of the enemy trying to sweep your soul into obscurity trying to sweep your soul into nonensity trying to sweep your soul into poverty trying to sweep your soul into stagnation trying to sweep your soul into a sinking ground that is so slippery you cannot stand i prophesy a standard of preservation is raised God is raising a standard for your sake. God is raising a standard for your sake. And when the flood flows coming in towards the man, the Bible says, I will raise a standard. Today, God is raising a standard for you. My God is raising a standard for you. My God is raising a standard for you. In the name of Jesus, 